Hello everybody, John Cassani here, Clusa Waterkeeper, uh, bringing you some updates uh, on some of the conditions and events in the region. Uh, let's start with our cyanobacteria report. Um, we've seen some up uptick in cyanobacteria uh, concentrations in Lake Okeechobee the first week of May. Uh, one station, uh, FDEP, was reporting toxin concentrations up to about 35 micrograms per liter of microcystin. Uh, microcystis has been the cyanobacteria that's been dominant in these blooms. So uh, nothing new about microcystis. Uh, and it's not surprising that we're seeing it pop up a little bit at this time of the year. Uh, also saw some microcystis activity at the Moorhaven Lock on uh, May 11th and we had some of our volunteers report uh, some cyanobacteria at the LaBelle boat ramp or city docks, I'm sorry, city docks on May 12th. Um, so that's it on cyanobacteria. Uh, the other observation that's kind of un unusual at this time is that we're seeing um, a lot of macroalgae in some of the tributaries to the Clusahatchee River, uh, even in the upper estuary in the Clusahatchee Creeks area. Um, uh, actually, it's gotten so thick in some areas it's hard to paddle through. So it's really kind of unusual uh, to see macroalgae growing to that extent and uh, that abundant. Uh, at this time of the year. So we'll keep an eye on it and let you know what's going on with that. Um, the upper estuary in the Clusahatchee is still um, way too salty for the uh, submerged aquatic vegetation uh, that's targeted for restoration in that part of the, the estuary. So we're hoping uh, we'll get some rainfall here pretty soon and, and lower the salinity conditions in the upper estuary. Um, also on red tide, uh, the good news on red tide is uh, uh, not present at most stations, according to FWC. Uh, one, one site uh, reporting background conditions at the Boca Grande Pier. So nothing to get excited about on red tide at this point in time, and that's good news. Uh, just want to th say thanks to everyone who responded to our membership appeal. We had uh, uh, an excellent response, and I uh, wanted to do a shout out and thank you all for uh, supporting the work we do and, and uh, becoming a member or making a donation. So uh, thanks again to that. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, for this point in time. I uh, hope you're doing okay out there and we'll bring you another report in the next uh, week to 10 days. Thanks.